cold ground on our wind up on the grid. It's lights out and away we go this week's grid walk. All right. Spanish GP predictions. Last week, Monaco GP, we both were correct. Max Verstappen won. We were both correct that Alpine was the best of the bottom five in the constructor standing. And I got my hopium resulted in being correct that Lewis was P4. Uh, so I'll take it. <laughs> you need to start using hopium in like common vernacular. That was, that's a great phrase. <laughs> Uh, it's a, like a gaming thing. So it's like copium for when you're coping and hopium. And I, oh, I normally funny. don't say it out loud. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it came out of my mouth and I do like it. So I'm glad you, you do too. Um, that puts us in our predictions so far this season as 38 to 17. <laughs> <laughs> And Nicole, uh, normally, like when, like, so I did win this week. So Nicole technically should be doing like a, a visual funny bit for you. Her visual funny bit this week is that she is incredibly sick and still here and dying on. inside. <laughs> right. So there was, there's nothing that has happened. Um, but a reminder is we do reset our predictions at summer break. So there's six more races and then we start out on a clean slate. But I was shocked that it was six more races because wow, this season is long. It seems um, like so many and so little. Like it seems like it's too close, but very far. Six races is so many races though. That is, that's a lot of emotion. Um, all right, but uh, let's run through this. Nicole, did you change your P1 this week? Nope. I still have Max, and I'm assuming yeah, you also have Max. Yep, yep, yep. So let's get to the more interesting ones. Who do you have as P4 this week? I have Lewis as my P4. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'd be very happy with another Lewis P4, but I kind of leaned into the hope this week, and I have Lewis in my P3 and Alonzo in P4. And oh. yes, hold on, where is it? <laughs> This is so interesting because I, in my thought process, I have Alonzo as P3. So that's why I have Lewis as P4. So Lewis podium going all in. We're putting it out in the universe. I want a Lewis podium this week. I would love it. I would love it. So. I'm but I'll do this again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your P7? My P7 is Lance. Okay. Um, I think Lance needs a good week, which think, would not be no, P7. <laughs> right. But it's better than not finishing. And um, so I just, you know, I, P7 could just be an improvement. And uh, honestly, I was going with a lot of uh, vibes and cold medicine is what caused me to make a lot of these decisions. <laughs> so uh, that's what we got. So who do you So basically you? don't hold N Nicole to... Nicole's feet to the fire on any of these. Um, I have Carlos, Carlos Sainz. Um, Ferrari, Aston, Red Bull, and I guess technically Mercedes are all bringing upgrades this week. Like, I mean, because Mercedes is testing their upgrades. I just don't think Ferrari's first week with upgrades sounds like something they're going to be able to capitalize on so well. And Carlos had a rough... Spanish GP, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I want I want to root for positivity because home races don't usually go the greatest for Ferrari drivers. Right. And P7. P7, yeah. P7, yeah. All right, who's your P10 last in the points this week, Nicole? And I hope he's higher, but I just want to have him at least in the points. I have SD Bestie as my P10. Interesting. Okay. I did go back and forth, but I, I also, I actually think he will be higher than that. Um, so I put Alex Albon, P10. I had to give up. I've been having Alex as my P10 for like a little bit. And I was like, sorry, Alex, I think I need to adjust a little, change some things around. But again, I'd be happy with either of those in points. And yeah, last week I had SD Bessie as my P7 and it manifested a lot higher. So maybe that'll happen with this P10 and I'll just... True. Lose in the prediction picks, but win in my heart for the drivers. Enjoy. Yeah. So. I think the Williams will be much better this week. The new layout of the Spanish GP is lots of sweeping corners and fast speeds. 
Like you don't need extreme levels of high downforce that Williams can't create here. So I think I think points this week. We good. Fingers crossed. Again, putting putting positive vibes out in the world. That's how I'm using my predictions now. I just want like good things to happen. Except I guess I didn't do that with Carlos, so I'm sorry. <laughs> And then who do you have for your uh, team scoring the highest points in, but in the constructors place six to 10. So back of the pack. And we do have a switch up this week in it's uh, McLaren, Haas, Alfa Romeo, Alfa Tari and Williams. Yes. So I wanted to pick something more fun here, but the reality is I think it's going to be McLaren. Yeah, I that's I did too. <laughs> yeah, I think Lando will be in the points. And if I think Alex Albon will be P10, that means I think Lando will be eight or nine when I was roughing this out. And so, yeah, McLaren. Yeah, I wanted to really pick Williams, but, you know, I don't necessarily think the Alex Logan combo will be as successful right. in the joint points there. So I did potential go with the easy mm-hmm. out and I I think, and picked McLaren too. Right. Yeah, I I really don't understand what's going on with McLaren. I've yet to watch a Grand Prix weekend where I really feel like I understand their car or what's going on. Like, I don't, I understand that there's six in the constructors right now, but that doesn't really tell me anything. (laughs) Like, if you ask me the characteristics of every car in the field, like I'd probably be able to tell you something interesting about how a car behaves for all other nine cars, but not for McLaren. So it's a not very confident, but yet still boring choice <laughs> from the, the group. So, all right. Well, we'll see how we do. Hopefully I get some points. You did last week. I know, but so did you. I need points where yeah. you don't get points. I get points yes. wherever you get points. And that doesn't help me win. (laughs) Thank you so much for listening to this segment from episode 19 of Gridwalk. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more F1 videos while you're here. And you made it this far in this video. Why not watch the rest of the podcast? You can watch the full thing. Click right here. Ready? Click, 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 click.